The Book of Life is a one-of-a-kind book that was not made by the hands of people, and it was created by something else entirely. On the other hand, one can discover it in the heavenly domain, and it is the property of Jesus Christ. Throughout the course of history, God has made it clear to his servants and prophets that he is in possession of an extraordinary book. This is currently an open book containing a registry of names, and God deems very precious the individuals whose names are being recorded in it. Jesus also told his disciples about the book of life. This occurred during the Lord sending out the 70 disciples. As they returned from their mission, the 70 were elated that even the demons had been subject to them. Luke chapter 10, verses 17 to 20. The 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. He said to them, I watched Satan fall from heaven like a flash of lightning. Listen carefully. I have given you authority that you now possess to tread on serpents and scorpions and the ability to exercise authority over all the power of the enemy, Satan, and nothing will in any way harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice at this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are recorded in heaven. Jesus sets an hierarchy for their joy. Jesus looks above this realm towards heaven. He directed them to turn their joy into the right channel. Notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, that they have been so, and shall be still so. Rejoice because your names are written in heaven, because you are chosen of God to eternal life, and are the children of God through faith. Christ, who knew the counsels of God, could tell them that their names were written in heaven, for it is the Lamb's book of life that they are written in. Note, power to become the children of God is to be valued more than a power to work miracles. For we read of those who did in Christ's name cast out devils as Judas did, and yet will be disowned by Christ in the great day. But they whose names are written in heaven shall never perish, they are Christ's sheep, to whom he will give eternal life. Saving graces are more to be rejoiced in than spiritual gifts. Holy love is a more excellent way than speaking with tongues. The actual reason to celebrate can be found here. To drive home the idea, Jesus makes use of a present imperative, charette, which indicates that this should be a constant source of joy. The Book of Life refers to the great census of God where the blessed will be named. True and eternal life with the everlasting God is the essence of blessing. The Apostle Paul wrote a letter in which he mentioned the names of a few faithful brethren who were still alive at the time and whose names are written in the Book of Life. Philippians chapter 4 verse 3 Indeed, I ask you too, my true companion, to help these women to keep on cooperating, for they have shared my struggle in the cause of the gospel, together with Clement and the rest of my fellow workers, whose names are in the book of life. Having one's name blotted out of this book means eternal death. Revelation chapter 20 verse 15 And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was hurled into the lake of fire. The same book is also called the Lamb's Book of Life because it contains the names of those who have been redeemed by the blood of the Lord Jesus. Revelation chapter 13 verse 8 All the inhabitants of the earth will fall down and worship him. Everyone whose name has not been written since the foundation of the world in the book of life of the Lamb who has been slain as a willing sacrifice. Revelation chapter 21, verse 27. And nothing that defiles or profanes or is unwashed will ever enter it, nor anyone who practices abominations, 
detestable, morally repugnant things, and lying. But only those will be admitted whose names have been written in the Lamb's Book of Life. The Book of Life first appears when Moses offers to have his name removed from it. Moses felt that Israel had sinned so terribly that the blood of a goat or an ox couldn't cover it. It had to be a man who suffered in their place. Therefore, he offered to be blotted out of God's book if it could somehow rescue the people. God said no to Moses' request, but we can say that God was looking forward to the sacrifice of one greater than Moses, who would give himself for the people, bringing full and complete atonement. He stands between the people and the wrath of God and says, Punish me. He could not have borne it. Of course, it was too much. And yet the noble spirit of Moses shines out so clearly in this great incident. Lloyd Jones Of course, Jesus had the same sacrificial heart when he died for our sins. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18 For Christ also suffered for sins once for all time, the just for the unjust, so that he might bring us to God, having been put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21 He made him who knew no sin to be sin in our behalf, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. The Lord's response to the plea of Moses And the Lord said to Moses, Whoever has sinned against me, I will blot him out of my book. God agreed to spare the nation, but reserved the right to judge individual sinners. The names of those who have been spiritually converted and dedicated their lives to God's service are recorded in the Book of Life. Moses, like other God's servants, recognized that his name was already written in the Book of Life. Because Jesus said that Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the prophets will be in God's kingdom, their names are undoubtedly written in the Book of Life. Luke chapter 13, verse 28. In that place, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you see Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, but yourselves being thrown out. The names of those who will be in God's kingdom will be written in the book of life. Malachi chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord listened attentively and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear the Lord and esteem his name. And they will be mine, says the Lord of armies, on the day that I prepare my own possession, and I will have compassion for them, just as a man has compassion for his own son who serves him. God made it quite apparent that the name of a person could be taken from the Book of Life. 